Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Hang on, gotta get the right microphone picked in here. That's better. Hey, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Sorry about that. Again, yesterday we had a little bit of proceeding imperfectly. We get to repeat that again today. <laughs> Just, you know, it is what it is. Hey, uh, do me a favor when you get here, do what Joe just did. Drop a comment in there and say hi. I dare someone to try and beat Joe at doing that tomorrow. That's, um, there's my challenge for you right there. Try to beat Joe in saying hi in the comments tomorrow. It's a tall order, I know. Um, so that completely derailed my line of thought. If you're watching live, thank you. Drop a comment down there. If you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher, head on over to seven minutes in the morning.com. Join in the conversation in the Facebook page there. We would love to see you there, but only do that if it's safe. If you're listening while you're driving, go ahead and finish your trip. All right. So this morning, this week, we've talked a little bit about, um, about time, managing how you spend your time, uh, whether the day runs you or you run your day. And uh, I just noticed my my targets are on the back of the door there. Um, and as I was thumbing through Reddit last night, um, I actually came on a quote, came upon a quote that fits that this line of thinking pretty well. Um, and something I wanted to share with you. And as you may or may not have heard, Barbara Bush, the, uh, I guess 41, 41's wife and 43's mom <laughs> died on Tuesday. Um, and so there's been a lot of stuff, you know, posted around about that, but this is actually a quote attributed to her. And it says, at the end of your life, you will not, you will never regret not having passed one more test, not winning one more verdict, or not closing one more deal. You will regret time not spent with a husband, a friend, a child, or a parent. And that really, you know, as we kind of dig into um, how we spend our time, one of the things that I I harp on all the time that I'm I'm constantly pounding you guys to think about is why. Why are you doing what you do? What's the reason behind the reason? And if we're really honestly and, and truthfully honest with ourselves, it, it will come down to relationships at some point. I had a, a great conversation last week uh, with a fellow who his business is just exploding. And I start, I, you know, we started talking about it and, um, you know, why do you want to keep growing the business? Is it big enough? Is it not big enough? What, you know, just what's, what's driving all of this is, well, you know, I make some money. I'm like, okay, what will you do with the money? And the very first answer, just like that, right out of his mouth is send my daughter to whatever school she wants to go to. I, I mean, that's a, that's an, you could look at that as an acquisition, but really he wants to do that for her. That's a relationship thing. So I said all of that, did all of that set up just for this, right? Out of all of the things that we can work us work on, all the things that we can focus our time, energy, and attention on, the one thing, that is going to pay the greatest dividends. And as Mrs. Bush said here, that we will long for at the end of our days, our relationships. So as you are choosing your priority today, as you are looking at the list of things that are going to create outcomes for you today, choose the ones that give you the greatest opportunity to build beneficial relationships they could be with clients they could be with um, suppliers in the end i mean our, our deepest relationships are usually with family and look 
I get it. I've done it. One of the things, and I, I hadn't told this story in a while, so I'll share it here. It's 97, 98, something like that. I was working for a, a consulting company, and we were booking, booking 80 hours a week, which meant we were working more than that. I was, and then one day I realized, you know, the kids are asleep when I leave the house. They're asleep when I get home. I work Monday through Saturday and think about work all day Sunday and for the most part just want to be left alone. That's kind of stupid because the kids are only going to be in the house till they're 18. I thought it was 18 at the time. The kids are only going to be in the house until they're 18. I've got the rest of my life to work. And that was kind of the breakthrough for me. And it happened. We were in you know, this giant cube farm and I was walking across. I just stopped right in the middle of the floor. I was like, wow, this is dumb. Right. That was kind of the breakthrough moment for me. There was no crisis or, or anything. Um, I got an adjustment to that later on, but the, the, there was no, it was just a, you know, revelation that dropped in my lap that morning. Right. So I want to say these words to you so you hear them and you think about them, right? What are the relationships that you're missing out on because you're spending your time trying to accumulate, you know, pass one more test, win one more verdict, close one more deal, send one more email is usually what I say. That's not what we're going to ask for at the end. It's our laptop or our phone so we can jot out one more email. No. Have those important relationships around us. All right, so that's your thought for the day. As you are looking at the to-do list, be sure that the things that you are choosing to do today, the things you are focusing your time, energy, and attention on are the things that develop long, meaningful relationships or support them. Every once in a while, if you deviate from that, that's okay. Don't make it a habit. Don't book 80 hours a week. Just saying. All right, that's it for today. Let's see. It's Wednesday, coffee shop show coming up at 9 o'clock. You can come right back here to find that, 7minutesinthemorning.com. It posts here as well. Uh, so also, if you're listening on your podcast catcher, that's the place to get it. Come back to 7minutesinthemorning.com. Uh, you can see the coffee shop show there. Let's see, Thursday. Oh, co-working night. Uh, this is Wednesday. Co-working night is tonight. So if you happen to be in the Huntsville area around 6 o'clock tonight, come by Huntsville West on 9th Avenue. Check out, and even before you get there, you can check out the list of workshops that are available. CWN, like co-working night, cwnflyer.com. Uh, we'll show you the workshops that are lined up. And then, of course, we'll be back here in the morning. For another installment of seven minutes in the morning. Until then, you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll talk to you in the morning.